Hi, I'm Brittany with ZD, and today we're going to dive into mastering your inbox on the ZD platform. If you're not currently familiar with ZD, it is the ultimate AI-powered platform for communicating with your customers and potential customers, managing SMS campaigns, and requesting and gathering reviews for your local business. Today we'll cover everything from opening and managing conversations to utilizing AI for efficient responses. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all of our latest videos, helping you leverage the ZD app to optimize your local business operations. During this video, we're going to cover how to navigate your inbox, managing conversations, sending and scheduling messages, managing your customer details like adding internal notes and tags, one-click review invitations, AI chat summaries and utilizing AI for responses, and cleaning up your inbox, as well as some other cool features that are available within the ZD platform. All right, let's dive right in with how to navigate your inbox. When you first log into the ZD platform, this is going to be the screen that you see. Over here on the left-hand side are all of your folders that you can categorize all of your contacts and messages into. In the center here, you're going to have a list of all of your open conversations listed in the order that they were received. At this point, all you need to do is select a conversation to get started. When you open up a conversation in the center here, you will have your full text thread with that customer. And on the right-hand side, you're going to have a contact card with some details about that customer or lead. Now let's go back into the text thread so that we can jump into managing conversations. Let's say someone sends you a message. You can absolutely send a message back manually and click send. But if you're not sure what to say or you're just not in the conversational mindset at the moment, you do have the option to ask AI to suggest an answer for you. So let's scroll up to this message. Let's say that I wanted AI to send the message to Ashley. I can just click on the AI bot next to the message, pick the tone of voice, and it will generate a response for me. You can also come down into the text box and generate the AI response from here. Select the message that best suits you and then click send. Now let's say with this specific message that you don't want Ashley to forget that she said she would come in on Thursday afternoon. So let's jump into scheduling messages for a future date. All you have to do is come down into the text box, type out whatever it is that you want to say. So for this, we're going to say, good morning, Ashley. Just a reminder that you are all set to come in this afternoon. See you then. Then you can click on this little clock icon and you can either have it scheduled to send at one of the preset times, or you can click on custom, come in here and select the date and time, and you can click schedule. Now that message will automatically send to her on the date that we indicated. Now, if you decide that you actually don't want that message to send, you will have a little indicator at the bottom of your text thread that says one message is scheduled to send. All you have to do is click on view messages and it will populate the messages for you. And then you can click on the little red trash can over to the right to delete the message. Confirm that you want to delete the scheduled message and the message will no longer send. A few more key things to cover in the text box is you do have the ability to send attachments from your device. You also have the ability to save pre-written templates, especially if you find that you are sending the same messages to leads and customers over and over again. A great use for this feature within all businesses is the ability to save review invitations so that you can send them in just one click. Let's move into the managing customer details. This is where you can make sure that you stay organized within your inbox. This first section is how you can decide which folder you want this conversation to belong to. So if this is someone who you're waiting for a response from, you could add them to the waiting response folder. If you've sent them the review invite, if they actually left a review, if they're scheduled to come in for repairs, whatever the case is, you can just click on this icon to move it to a different folder, select which folder you want to add it to and click save. You also have the ability here to add tags to your customers' conversations. Click on the plus and then you can see what tags are already assigned, if any. And then you can come in and add any tags that you want. You can just start typing. And if you want to add a new tag, all you have to do is type in the tag and then click add tag. 
And once all of your tags that you want assigned to this customer are there, you can click Save Tags. Those tags will automatically be assigned to your customer. You also have the option to use labels. Labels are going to be great for making sure that you keep your customers segmented. So for example, if they are a new customer, if they are a lead, if they're a repeat buyer, if they're a recurring customer, you can add labels for all of these. There are some pre-built labels, but if you would like to add a new label, all you have to do is click Create. Then you'll name what you want your label to be, and you can select whatever color you want that label to be and click Create. And now that label is in there as well. At this point, you can select any and all labels that you want to apply to that contact and click Apply. You also have the ability to add notes. So if you have a customer that you just want to keep notes on, you can leave some internal notes to track important information for your customers or potential leads. Let's talk about the one-click review invites. I know I showed you already how to send a Google review request through the saved templates, but there's also a one-click way to do it over here in the details pane. So when you open up your customer's account, you can come over here where it says send review invite, and you can click on this star and it will automatically send your customers a review request in just one click of a button without having to go into those templates. Next, let's talk about the AI chat summary. If you have a customer or a lead that you just have a super long text thread with, and you don't want to have to thumb through all of these text messages between you and the customer, a really cool feature is the AI chat summary. It's actually going to summarize all of your messages into a short snippet that you can just see a brief summary of instead of having to scroll through all of those messages. It will summarize a weekly summary or a monthly summary, and it will summarize exactly what you had talked about during that time frame. Let's talk about keeping your inbox clean. Once you are done with the conversation with someone and you no longer need to keep this conversation in your open inbox, you can actually come up here to these little icons above your text thread, and there's one called Close Conversation. You can click that and it will actually delete it out of the open section of your inbox so that your inbox can stay super clean and you're not bogged down by conversations that are over. However, don't worry, you are not deleting the contact altogether. The next time that person sends you a message, they're going to pop right back in at the top of your inbox so that you can still make sure that you are communicating with your customers and getting their messages. So closing the conversation is just going to remove it from your open inbox. It's not going to delete the conversation altogether and they will still pop back up if they text you again. And that wraps up our walkthrough on navigating your inbox on the ZD platform. Today we covered how to manage your conversations effectively, utilize AI for communication, schedule messages, and much more to keep your business communications streamlined. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for more insights on how to get the most out of ZD for your local business. We'll see you in the next video.